Hey guys, um, it's been a minute since I did one of these episodes of the After Dark series, and I think we are on episode four. Um, it's been a long time, but I feel like a lot of things have happened to the fact that I can actually um have a good episode and just speak my mind and my opinions and get you guys opinions of course i read all of my comments um i usually reply back when you guys first post on my comments if i don't um it probably gonna take me a couple of hours but i reply um Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not, because I'm going to keep going with these episodes periodically, because I don't really um, upload them every day, but I'm thinking about having one uploaded every Wednesday or every Friday. I just haven't decided yet, but, um, and I'm not even sure who you guys are going to get this one. But you would know if you already have on your notification bells. Um, but anywho, I don't know. It's like a lot of stuff been happening lately. Um, and I think it's been happening this way because I pray. Um, I feel like I'm repeating myself because I did. Um, I did pray on a lot of things, um, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes you can pray for a lot of things to happen, but you're not ready for the outcome, so you sometimes end up with an egg on your face, and, um, and that's not a good way to be sometimes, um, I feel like most people get their hopes up um, for situations to come out the way they want them to, and they just don't work out that way, but I don't know. Today was one of those days where it's like, I don't care about nothing for real, for real anymore. Um, I'm tired of putting myself out there for people to actually get to know me as a person. Um, I'm tired of trying to develop or make a situation work that has really just came to the end of the ropes. And it's like, if I don't let it go, it's going to break me. So it's like, at this point, I'm questioning, um, not necessarily questioning, because I already know what I'm going to do, but um, I'm at this point now where either I let, I let the situation go, or I let my happiness go. I don't know, but what I do know is, sometimes you just have to sit back, don't say nothing. Just sit back and watch everything unfold. Um, and that's what I've been doing lately. I've been just sitting back, not really saying nothing like most people want me to. Because usually when I go through certain situations, I usually just phase out. Because everything is not going the way I know it can go. Um, and I just, let it, I just, I just, I don't know. It's just crazy the fact that you can just sit back, don't say nothing, and everything will unfold the way it should be, or it, it have you open your eyes wide. I just, I don't know. I feel like business wise and personal wise, and Everything is unfolding for me to actually develop or actually to build myself. And um, 
And I think that's a great thing, especially when it comes to me building myself mentally because at one point I felt like if I don't talk about what I was going through, I was going to explode. But now it's like I just pray on everything. And uh, some of the things I pray for, I'm ready for the outcome. And then some things that I pray for, I'm not ready for the outcome. But it's something that I need to see with my own two eyes for me to actually believe. Because if God come up here and told me himself that um, I shouldn't be with this person or I shouldn't start this business or I shouldn't put out this video or I shouldn't be friends with this person or I shouldn't buy this part or I shouldn't start this job, um, I don't think... I would believe him enough if I didn't have a reason why you think that way. I don't know. I'm just strong on action more than words. Um, Because people can tell you anything. People can tell you they love you. People can tell you that they will help you. People can tell you that you are their best friend. People can tell you that you are cute. People can tell you that they will do better next time. But if their action is not leading up to what they are saying, then one of them is lying. Either the action is lying or what they say is lying. And to me, if I'm, I'm a person that needs to see that action. And if your action is not lining up with what you say, then it's time for me to distance myself. <clears throat> and I'm not just talking about on the personal level. I'm talking on the professional level too. Especially professional. But anyways, um, I guess I'm saying all of this to say that sometimes you just have to sit back and watch things unfold for yourself. Don't say nothing. Don't do nothing. Just sit back and watch. Um, and I feel like God is showing me things that <clears throat> I didn't want to believe. <clears throat> but it's like it was at a point to where he had to show me, um, give me action. And... Uh, I can say I wasn't ready for those actions, but honestly, if he didn't show me the actions, I knew they was coming. Um, it's just a matter of time. It's just like when you pray, it's like it's coming. Um, a faster than it would if you didn't pray about it. Um, I don't know. I just think today, which is the 22nd slash 23rd, by the way. I just think today is one of those days slash nights where I just sit back and think about all the energy I put into a situation, all of the time I put into a situation, um, all of the years I put into a situation. It's like I never get those years back. I never get those words back. I never get that. Um, um, people just do not understand when you say you have people in every area called people that you trust people that you have been running the streets with um, they just do not understand it and it's like you have those people in your corner um, as resources and people who have your back People who want to see you happy. So when they have something to show you and they bring proof to your eyes, I mean, that's all you can believe. Um, but moving on to a different story, I feel like people need to start taking accountability for what they say, for what they do. And all of that stuff. 
I, I feel like people need to own up to what they do and what they say. Um, if you don't take accountability for what you say and what you do, it's no way possible you can sit there and take all of what someone else do and just throw stones at them. There's no way possible. And when I say accountability, I mean, if you did something wrong, say you did it. Say why you did it. Apologize. But don't do it no more. I feel like people don't take situations where they fuck up and just say, look, I fucked up. I'm sorry, but I'm taking the blame now. I'm sitting here telling you I fucked up. And I'm sorry. We need to move on from this situation. So, I don't know. I just feel like people, if you start taking accountability for what you do, I feel like these words will be more simpler to, and I'm just talking about my world in particular. I feel like my world in particular will be easier and and I won't have to deal with so much stress and depression and all of that stuff. Um, I did have a question come to my email, which I wanted to touch on about depression. Um, and I think if I'm not mistaken, after this video, I'm going to go look at your question. But verbatim, the question asks... Um, how do you deal with depression in your relationship? Um, honestly, okay, I'm going to speak on everybody. I'm not just going to speak on myself. Um, the biggest depression bomb I ever had is when I was, I want to say my longest ever relationship. Um, and the only way I actually kind of dealt with my depression is music, alcohol, well, not, well, liquor, and having a counselor. That's the only way. Um, and I know liquor is not the answer, but liquor was something I used to control my, my anger, control my emotions, um, because when I drink, uh, I turn happy. For no reason, I'm happy, okay? Um, as most people say, uh, I was a happy drunk, okay? Everything I talked about, everything I did, I turned it into a joke. Um, and so just keep in mind, if you ever want to go drinking with me, I'm a happy drunk, okay? Um... I would say the best way to handle depression in a relationship is to talk to your spouse about what you're going through. Um, if it's something your spouse is doing to make you feel so depressed, tell them. Have Both of you go to a counselor. Um, both of you. It's, it's all dealing with communication. Um, if you have that one person you can talk to, um, about how you feel, then um, that's another way you can actually deal with it. Um, I think I'm going to come out with a video talking about this because I had a lot of questions on my depression video that I had um, that was actually sent to my email. So I'm going to actually go back, read them, print them out, and... Um, and make a whole video about that, about just about my depression and all of, and what I did and all that stuff. Um, but I'm just coming to you guys with I don't care, and I'm speaking as in being in a relationship. I don't care how bad things get, but never in I don't care what kind of relationship you're in. Um, lesbian, you're gay, hetero, straight, bi, I don't care what you in. 
never lose yourself in a relationship because then you'll be you when that relationship goes south you'll be thinking what do I do now and it's like you, all your your all was in that relationship and it's like when that relationship fail you're gonna feel like a failure and you have to understand that in a relationship because every relationship is not the same we're not going to have the same problems we're not going to deal with the same um the same misconceptions about who's wrong and who's right and all that we're we're not going to have the same i can say that um but what i will say is Never bring outside people into your relationship because that will make things ten times worse. Another thing I want to say is sometimes you got to have those people who are in your corner just for you. Those people who will have your back no matter what. Because when everything else fails, you still have people who have your back. And I feel like when you get into a relationship, never turn your back on your family. Never turn your back on your family. Just make sure you your the relationship you enter into is a relationship that is healthy, that makes you happy, a, a relationship that can help both of you grow. Um, be in a relationship with someone that can help you build. Um, be in a relationship where both of you are willing to work it out. Um, be in a relationship where it's an equal um, a equal amount of giving and receiving. Um, just just make sure you get in a relationship where you don't always feel like you are losing something. Um, I don't know. I just hope everyone understands what I'm saying because I know um, I ain't even gonna lie. I've been drinking, I've been smoking, but it's like I know exactly what I want to say. Um, it might not be coming out the what I want to say, but it's 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 what it's what it is. Um. But I think I am going to, um, I supposed to be at work at 3 o'clock. But I think I'm going to call today out just to think about some things and get my life together. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, and of course, edit videos for you guys. Because um, I think I have videos edited up until um, Monday the 28th, I believe. I think I have a lot of videos already edited and recorded and ready to go. But anywho, I think I'm finna to like watch TV a little more until I doze off and go to sleep. Um... Or I might call my best friend and talk to her. Um, or one of my crew members and talk to them. Or I might just tell them to come over and we'll just have like a little slumber party or something like we always do. But um, I don't know. It's like my mind always racing. And then when I get in front of the camera, it's like everything just disappears. But I don't know. Um, it's just like, be careful with who you trust your heart with. Be careful who you trust. Be careful when it comes to people telling you, what they want you to hear, not what you need to hear. Um, I don't know. I'm just at a point where I just want to say, 
to get everything and just disappear. <laughs> and I'm not, and that's the thing though, I'm like happy, but then at the same time, it's like I'm not depressed, which is a good thing. But then at the same time, it's like things are going bad. Um, but it's like, okay, they're bad. So what? It's like, move on. Keep moving. So I think prayer really does work, especially now. Um, I lost my cousin, so that kind of put a damper on things. And then when you turn around and you find out information that you knew, but you really didn't want to believe until you saw it with your own eyes. It's just like, that's a lot. Like, that's a lot a person deal with. But I'm at the point now where I know it. And it's not affecting me like it should or it would if I didn't, like, pray about it. But I don't know. I'm just not depressed. It just like I'm numb to the fact. Um, I can't feel anything. It's like okay. Pain example. If you have pain and you take painkillers, the pain is numb. Um, just like you have depression, you take depression pills, you're gonna go to sleep, wake up, and you just gonna feel zen, meaning you no know, feelings, no emotions, nothing. You just numb to the fact. And that's how I feel. Like, I feel no emotion. Um, and I feel like that because I probably already prepared myself for the truth. And it's like, I just didn't understand when the truth would come. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. I'm proud of myself. Because there's certain situations that I've been faced with this week, today alone, well, yesterday alone, to where I would have spazzed out, but I just left it off. Um, but you have to, un people have to understand that you have people who have your back no matter what. And I feel like if they find out that you are doing something wrong with the person they have back, then you're going to pay for it. I'm just saying. Um, but it's, it's, it's cool. Um, when you find out the truth about things, you just say, okay, I knew that. I, I was prepared for this day. Now I just have to be prepared to get my emotions straight and just keep moving. And I'm at the keep moving part because I don't really care because I was already mentally processed the whole situation. Um, so, I don't know. And honestly, I'm not ready to speak on the situation. I just feel like I'm re I was ready to speak on um my feelings on the situation um i will be putting out a video about the situation but um it probably won't be no time soon i can't say that but just be on the lookout stick with me i'm gonna tell you guys what really happened um but i just want to see this situation to the end um, and just like, just so I can have an ending to my story, because honestly, I don't have an ending to my story, and um, that won't be a good story to tell. Okay, so while I work on the ending to my story, you guys be great. Um, don't let anyone come in and steal your joy, and. I always want to tell you guys, be blessed, stay blessed, stay prayed up, don't worry about bull crap that will not matter to you three or four years from now, but um, I'm about to call it a night or a morning, 
because I don't know if I'm going to work or not. And it's 151, so it's no way possible. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make it to work on time. So, well, it is possible, but it's no way possible. I'm gonna get up right now and go get ready to go to work. It's no way possible. Um. So yeah, I'm not going to work. I'm just gonna pile out. But um, yeah. I know I have to go to the doctor for real though because there's something wrong with my my heel. Like it is super tender. Um, it's super sensitive. Um, it hurts like hell. Um, it's like I have to drag my foot because I can't put too much pressure on my heel. And when I do, it's like someone is stabbing me in my heel. With a double-sided sword. So. I'm going to fix that. This video has been long enough. I'm going to keep you guys up to date with everything. Um, I don't know. People think. I, this is my last thing. Then I'm going to let you guys go. People think just because they do something to you bad. That you are not going that you are not going to find out what they did. And then when you do find out what they did, it's like they're so surprised or they can't deal with it or they try to turn everything on you. But I can honestly say this time, there's no way possible you could turn this on me. This time, I'm done. Like, I can't no more. I wasted my time, my energy. I put my feelings aside to make people happy. I'm done with that. Like, I'm done. And honestly, I can honestly say it's not the liquor talking because before I even got drunk, I was sitting down with my best friend. We was having, I'm not even drunk. I'm just high, okay? I was sitting down with my friend. We had a full-blown conversation. And I promise you guys, it's like, okay, I know what I need to do. But then now I'm drunk. I'm like, this is so fucked up. But then I'm like, but I knew it was going to happen sometime soon. I don't know. People blame you for so much. But you never sit here and think. Okay, they're blaming me. Um, they keep saying the same thing. It has to be a reason why. And you never sit here and think like, bruh, maybe they're fucking up. That's the reason why they always think you're fucking up. I don't know. This this turned into me talking about relationship. To find that this was a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, um, I don't even know what I'm gonna name this video, but I do is I do know it's it's it's, it's I do know this is episode four. And if you guys go back and watch episode three, I did read two of my diary entries. I think episode five, I'm gonna read. I think every uh, episode, I might read one of my journal entries for that week or month or whatever. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Remember what I said. Um, take the advice that you can use. If you can't uh, use it. Um, give it to someone else. Don't keep it for yourself. Don't be selfish. Um, other people are having a situation. Sometimes you guys' situation are not the same. So just share my video and maybe they can take something out of my situation to make their situation better. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you have, um, I will see you guys in my next video. 
Um, if you haven't, why not? Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be blessed, guys. Um, and I'm going to try to get some sleep or something. Bye, guys.